What's up guys, Jay-Z Aquatics here, and we are at the local river today, hunting for hardscape like this big old stick I have here, and some rocks, all kinds of stuff. I don't have any cast nets or anything to catch some of the local species we have here. Uh, I'm on the Locust Fork Warrior River at King's Bend, and this is where I come to collect driftwood, rocks, anything like that, and it's just a fun day you can get a lot of aquarium inspiration by just looking at how like the bank side is how the the currents are you know stuff like that and it's just a relaxing day so so far i found this really long piece that i could probably chop in half for some driftwood i have a rock in my backpack but that's about it so far i'm just kind of walking around right now but i do want to catch there are some tiny bass and bluegill in here i would like to catch for the pond and some other stuff but um this is just where you come to find your inspiration if your brain stuck on doing what to do you could build something like that cave right there or anything like that But I'm going to travel on a little further down the creek here and see if I can find some more stuff and I'll get right back with y'all. But just look at how nice of a day it is. Okay guys, I don't know if y'all can see those, but that is a school of baby bass or the native shiner that we have here. I'm not really sure what the shiner is called. I've never caught one, but that could possibly be them too. I just happened to walk through all this moss which is really good for your tank, but let me show you this right here. That guy right there, I'll pick him up. These guys are a type of snail, and you don't want these in your fish tank because they will take over. There's like probably millions of them in this river, and you don't want them in your fish tank. So if you ever collect anything, like anything with this type of moss on it, I think this is like Christmas moss or something, I can't remember but oh look at this little guy some type of bottom dweller i don't know if i could catch him he lives in like this canal in between the moss it's pretty cool looks like like a little goby or something maybe i could catch him on camera no he ran but that was a cool little fish never seen one of those before but just if you ever collect something like this make sure to rinse it off because there's all type of snails, snail eggs, all type of stuff in this stuff. I've learned that the hard way on accident. But it is just a really nice day. Like any type of these rocks, these little rocks, any of the big ones. I mainly look for flat ones or the ones that look like, let me see if I can zoom in. Flat ones or ones that look like, like that little shape right there like a cliff looking thing that's what i look for in a rock that way i could like build cliff edges and walls in my tanks to slow down aggression in the fish tanks like here's a deep pool full of fish you can see them darting around but yeah okay still haven't found nothing but i just wanted to give you all that little tip and pointer the current's a little fast right here so i have to go the other way but i'm gonna try to make it over there because i see some nice wood over there Okay guys, we're kind of in the muck here, but look at this little clump of like hornwort I found. It's not hornwort, it's a different species, but isn't that so cool? Right here in the wild. I'm not going to take it because I don't have anything to put it in to, that holds water. So I will leave it here. But isn't that cool? There's a fish that just jumped. Alright, let's keep trekking. Okay guys, I found one. It's not sunk in or in the water or anything, but it doesn't have any bark on it, and we should be good to go. Also, if I could take that really long rock right there home with me and put it in a tank, I totally would. That's such a good looking, like, wall, cliffscape. But, I mean, look at the view. So nice. Same back that way. So awesome. We're probably going to have to head back soon, though. It's getting really hot and kind of late, so... I'm going to grab this piece and see if I can't find some rocks and stuff them in my backpack. But look at that. That just looks like a waterfall waiting to happen for like a pond or something. Let's actually head over there real quick. Okay. So it looks like there is some type of spring or something running through into the river right here. Off all these rocks. But isn't that so cool? 
running water on all these rocks. If I could take that big piece home, I would too, but I don't need that big of a piece. And see like how this one is stripped of bark? That one is not, so that would not be good right now. But yeah, look, it's like a nice water. Let's walk up here. Look at that. Big old waterfall right there. That's so cool. No idea if this is some sort of spring or something, but still pretty cool. Nice running water off this big old rock. And there's even more right there. So cool. And the water is so cold right now. It's like 90 degrees out here, and the water is like probably 60. It's so nice. But yeah. Look at all that. All right, time for like the mild trek back to the truck. Okay guys, this is what I came back with. So I also got the two really long pieces of driftwood, but those are for another video. They're soaking in the tub right now. Maybe they'll be good, I don't know. They're really big. But to give you reference for this, that's my hand. And that one's almost my hand. And this one's like 20 pounds and this one's like 40 pounds. And then this little guy, I can just, these are super light. So we're gonna have to get these guys soaking and ready to go. Cause all of these are hopefully gonna go in this big tank because I got a whole bunch more rock work and stuff right here. So like I can build a big cave and then everything from the other 75 in that room is gonna go into this tank anyways. So yeah, and I just, I got some minnows in there just for now to get it cycling. Socks is checking out the wood, but that's all for today, guys. I just wanted to go on a little hike with y'all, a little adventure, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can make sure to see all the videos when they come out. See y'all next time.